Welcome to DIY for Homeowners. We're Mother Daughter Projects. I'm Steph. I'm Vicki. And today we are sharing an upcycling project, and this is sponsored by the Home Depot. A couple weeks ago, my neighbor texted me a picture of an old lamp that she had, and she said, do you and your mom have a use for this? So I texted it to mom, and mom said, take it home. We're going to figure out a way to use this. So mom had the vision to turn the old lamp into a coat rack. And this coat rack has a very modern feature. We actually built in a wireless charger into it. So come along as we show you how we did this. This is the lamp we're starting with, ornate and brassy. The first step was to disassemble the lamp. We cut off the socket and unscrewed each section. The bottom had a weight made out of concrete that had broken, so we threw that part away. Here you can see we're taking apart the lamp, and these are some of the parts that we took off. As we were working, we realized it was a very high quality lamp, and we were able to interchange the parts, so we took this part out and put one of the top parts on the bottom. We wanted a very sleek look, so we only ended up using the straight pieces from the original lamp. Here we're measuring PVC pipe to the height of the bottom section of the new coat rack. We cut that to size on the miter saw and fitted it into place. We did the same for the top section. Then mom cleaned the PVC pipe with mineral spirits. PVC can be a little tricky to paint. Here you can see we actually put a big metal stake in the ground and put the PVC pipe on top of that. Then we propped it up with a couple of pieces of wood and it worked perfect. We spray painted all the parts black as that matched mom's aesthetic. Next, we tested the wireless charger that will be on the bottom of the glass. We wanted to make sure the charging feature worked through the thickness of the glass. We used a dry erase marker to outline the charger. Then mom added a pattern of a power button to trace. Here you can see I'm using the new Ryobi battery powered rotary tool. I love it, you can just take it to where you work and I love the size of the actual tool itself. It's very easy to manage. Now the secret to doing glass edging is to get the right bit and you need to purchase a diamond tip bit. We measured and cut a piece of PVC pipe to fit into the base of the coat rack. Then we hot glued to secure it. This is going to allow us to screw the parts back together once the concrete is in the base. You can use any concrete for this because it won't show, but we're using one of our favorites, Rapid Set, as it sets up in 15 minutes and cures in about an hour. We added water a little at a time and mixed. Then I poured it into the base. We let that cure and moved on to spray painting the underside of the glass. We're using a Rust-Oleum black spray paint doing many thin coats. Mom is using a Lazy Susan to be sure she gets all the places. We added a PVC cap to the top of the PVC and marked where to place the hooks for coats. Then we used the Ryobi rotary tool again with a drill bit attachment to make pilot holes for the hooks. Then I just hand screwed them into place and they were really secure. Here you can see we are now attaching the lamp parts back. And then we fit a new piece of sticky felt to the bottom to protect the floor. We placed the PVC on the bottom section and to secure that to the metal pole, we're using expanding foam. It sets up in about 15 minutes, so we're attaching it to this chair to make sure it stays nice in place while it sets up. We got the glass and last little metal piece in place, added the PVC pipe, and to secure the top to the bottom, we sprayed a lot of expanding foam inside the pipe, making sure it went all the way to the bottom, then we put it in place. Lastly, we placed the wireless charger on the bottom of the glass using black Gorilla Tape, and it worked. And this is how it works. Mom can leave her keys, jacket, and more at the front door.
This was not a project we thought we needed until it was done. Mom loves this, and now I always know where I can find a charge when I'm at Mom's house. What we learned. The charger, we kind of overcomplicated how to attach that to this. So I originally made this little bracket, but then I realized the charger wasn't close enough to the glass, and I tried a couple different things, and ultimately what I did was just use duct tape because it's underneath, it's not gonna be seen. We're not making Apple computers here, so it doesn't have to be perfect. And the other thing that we learned, we didn't plan ahead. When we sprayed the foam into the PVC, we forgot we needed a way to make sure it was gonna stay straight. So, if you're gonna do this, figure out a way to make it stand straight or be prepared to stand there for 15 minutes. <laughs> Guess who got to do that? I made sure it was straight the whole time. I had to keep checking that. A big thank you to my neighbor Rita who gave us the lamp to use in this project. It was a lot of fun. And she's also a fellow Greyhound dog owner, so we are big fans of her and her family. So thanks for joining us. If you want to see more projects from us, be sure to visit us at motherdaughterprojects.com. And subscribe to our newsletter. We send out an email once a week with all our latest projects.